Did you know that in Oakland, California, a 94-year-old tenant shot and killed his landlord? Here's the story. Frank Spillman, a 94-year-old tenant, had a rough relationship with his landlord, Kalbushim Gupta, for many years. He claimed his landlord harassed him constantly to clean the yard and rake the leaves to neaten up the property. Frank even accused Gupta of poisoning his chickens because he was upset that they were pooping all over his property. Shortly before 7.30 p.m. in 2008, violence erupted between the two men when Spillman shot and killed Gupta with a 22 caliber weapon. This took place at 4108 East 12th Street in the Fruitvale District. Gupta had staggered from the house and into the street, with Spillman chasing after him, firing several more shots. Gupta then fell in the neighboring store parking lot and died three hours later at Highland Hospital. The neighbor, Robert Viegas, 51 years of age, said he heard the sound of a metal pipe striking something, then someone moaning, before at least five gunshots rang out. Viegas said Gupta had been trying to get Spillman evicted out of his property if he heard him correctly. He also said that Frank was pretty unhappy with his landlord. Gupta, married and the father of three grown children, had served as president of the Residential Housing Association of Northern Almeida County. Despite Spillman's suspicions, it is not known whether Gupta was really trying to evict him. Spillman, one of the oldest homicide suspects ever in the Bay Area, was expected to be held in a single cell at Santa Rita Jail in Dublin after being medically cleared, said Sheriff Sergeant J.R.D. Nelson. Spillman was then held at the Almedia County Jail without bail on suspicion of murder. Officer Roland Holmgren, an Oakland police spokesman, said it is possible that Spillman was suffering from some kind of dementia. Even so, I don't think it is up to us for to determine whether or not he is fit to stand trial, Holmgren said. That is the responsibility of the courts. Despite the apparent tensions between the landlord and the tenant, neighbors expressed shock that Spillman had resorted to gunfire. Neighbor Diane Cruz Williams said Spillman had been upset by the recent deaths of three or four of his chickens. He said the landlord poisoned them somehow, but how do I know that for sure? I just don't believe this, she said. I mean, it's so hard for me to believe that Frank pulled a gun and shot his landlord. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.